Welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your site for learning classic rock and pop songs on this lovely little eight-string instrument. Today we're taking a look at a song from my favorite band, R.E.M., a song that actually does have some mandolin in it again, but uh, it's very difficult to pick it out. You have to listen closely, but you can hear Peter Buck playing some mandolin in this song. It's called Man on the Moon, one of their biggest hits. Really great song and some interesting chord progressions for you to get under your fingers. So check out this tutorial. I'm sure you'll have fun learning this song. If you are new here, thanks very much for checking out this site. Once again, we really appreciate your support. But don't forget to hit that little red subscriber button down there on the right on your way out. Leave us a like too if you like this video. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks very much for coming back and checking us out once again. We always appreciate your support. You can leave us a like as well and check out our Patreon and Amazon links down below too. We'll have some exciting stuff coming up on Patreon, including live mandolin sessions once a month. So you might want to check that out. But now without further waiting, without further ado, let's take a look at this REM song called Man on the Moon here on RPM. All right, Man on the Moon comes from the early 1990s from the album Automatic for the People. A really fun song to play and some, uh, well, some really neat little chord progressions here. And I'll show you the beginning. It starts in the key of C, all right? And what I'm doing here is I'm not playing that sort of conventional C that I normally play down here. I'm, I'm adding this finger down to that fifth fret of the G string to give you the root, to give you the C root in that C chord. All right, so you got fifth fret here, second fret here, and third fret there, okay? Your C chord, all right? So... All right, so what are they doing there? Well, this is mainly the guitar part, but the mandolin does come in a little bit later in the song to uh, double this. So what Peter Buck is doing in this song is he's playing that chord, that C, He's kind of strumming it and then arpeggiating a couple of notes. And then he's sliding that entire fingering up two frets to give you a D chord, but also with that E ringing out. So it gives you like a D add nine chord. Can you, can you hear that? And he does that on the guitar as well. So you can mimic that chord here on the mandolin. But the key to this chord progression here is that little slide up and down, all right? So he doesn't just go, he doesn't just do that. He's sliding into that D and then sliding back down to the C again. So here it is. So you see how I did that? I slid with this finger here, my third finger, from that C note to, to there, to the seventh fret, D. And then I formed the D chord here, all right? So you're going, So you're going you see what I did there so I'm I'm hitting that chord up and down arpeggiating a couple of notes and then sliding up to the seventh fret and doing it again on that D chord and then back sliding down to the C note again so one more time If you listen later in the song, Peter Buck is actually arpeggiating these chords. He's going, using that high E note there. He's just. So he's hitting all the notes in the chord like that, even that high E coming down off that high E. 
like that, but that happens only in the last part of the song, in the final verse. In fact, the second half of the final verse. Listen closely, you'll hear what he does on the mandolin. Okay, so that's the first part of the verses. And he does that a lot. I mean, most of the verses are just that little pattern. Right? And then he goes, Andy, did you hear about this one? Tell me how they not to coach. Right? So what are those chords? Well, that's an A minor. Andy, did you hear about this one to a G? Okay, so that's a standard A minor. Fifth fret here on the G string. Second fret on the D. Open A. So, And you might even do a little little hammer on there on that second fret. And you can even add a little coming down off that G. You can go Okay, so right at the last part where he says, are you goofing on Elvis? Hey, baby, that part, he goes from quickly from the A minor to the G and then to a C and a D. Right before you get into the chorus. So one more time. Andy. You can bring in that note there if you want. Right? So, one more time. All right, and now we're ready for the chorus. Okay, and the chords in the chorus are a lot of fun as well. They go, if you believe, they put a man on the moon. Okay, so what are those chords? Well, it's a G chord first, if you believe, to A minor, then to C, and then a really cool B minor back to the G, all right? So if you believe, G, if you believe, A minor, C, B minor, and then G, A minor, D. Okay, so one more time, if you believe, G to A, C to B minor, G, A minor, D. G to A minor, C to B minor, and this time you just go to A minor. One more time. G, A minor, C, B minor, G, A minor, D. G, A minor, C, B minor, A minor. All right, and those are the chords for the choruses of this song. All right, now I'm going to show you a version of the guitar solo that you can play on the mandolin. It's pretty cool, and you can utilize some open strings here to sort of act as double stops, that open E. So you want to go... Right, so I believe on the guitar, though, he does something like... So you can do either one, whatever works for you. I prefer this one. So I can bring in that droning high E string there. So I'm on the seventh fret here, right? That's an E note with the E open E string. Then I'm jumping down to the second fret, which is a B note. So that's a bit of a jump there. You gotta jump all the way down from the seventh to the second. So. And then up to that fifth fret. So it's like this. Something like that, all right? So you're utilizing that seventh fret, the second fret, and the fifth fret and the open A, all with that droning high E. Now, if you wanted to do closer to what the guitar does, you go seventh fret there, second fret, but now you're going to the next string. Little E minor pattern there. So the second fret here, which is your E note, 
fourth fret F sharp, and then fifth fret G. Okay, so. And so on, just the same pattern as I played earlier on the A string, but just utilize that E. I actually prefer the other version though, the, the one I showed you first. It kind of works better for me on the mandolin in this song. All right, that is Man on the Moon by R.E.M. All of the parts for you, some really cool, interesting chords and chord progressions, even a little solo there for you. Have fun with it, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks very much for checking us out once again. If you're new here, please hit that subscriber button. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much. Please leave us a like if you like this video, and check our Patreon and Amazon links down below. My name is Mike Dijon. Thanks very much for watching RPM.